Here's a question that was sent to me the other day. Someone said that they have a garage and they would like to install a pull down stairway in it and uh, kind of wondered what the framing would look like. So if you have two foot on center garage ties or ceiling joists, we're going to start with this one. So that would give us a 22 and a half inch opening and that's usually what these stairways need a 22 and a half inch opening you would have to check with the product manufacturer before um, using any of the information in this video even though the information in the video should work if they are a little wider the 22 and a half inch wide stairway it's usually the most common i think 22 and a half by 55 something like that Let's go ahead and remove the roof rafters. You will need to install a double rafter on each side. And I'm just kind of giving you an idea. These are two by six ceiling joists, I believe. You know, if you have two by fours, two by eights, whatever, you can uh, still kind of use the same things with the doublers. And if uh, you're probably thinking, hey, wait a minute, I got two by tens. I don't need a double um Joyce here and uh, that's up to you you know these are just ideas um, that you can use or ideas that a engineer might recommend but if you have different size joists different framing um, then you might also be able to use uh, different options also so the doublers that you put in might need to be a little smaller because of the blocks I, mean, I don't know if you remember we had blocks in here and they might need to be a little smaller just to be able to get the um, doublers in. But remember, they usually require a minimum of an inch and a half. The distance here is a minimum of an inch and a half on each side. So you might need to remove some of the blocks, some of the roof rafter framing to um, do this. Now, I, I put the rafters back in to give you an idea. On this side, on one of the sides, you're not going to have a problem, but... On the other side, if you just kind of put a doubler in here, you would need to um, rip it down or shape it, and that's not going to work. So what you'll need to do will be to simply move the doubler over. So you won't have a double joist that's going to be right next to the other um, ceiling joist. You will need to nail a block in the center or a couple of blocks in here to create a doubler. So you're still going to have the double support. You're just going to nail it off an inch and a half so that it can go on the other side of the rafter. Otherwise, you won't have the ceiling joist sitting on top of the wall framing. Hope that makes sense. So again, it's going to be a little shorter than the original ceiling joist. Going to have your block in it. You can nail it with 16 D nails, 16 inches on center. I would imagine a two foot block would require four nails kind of spaced out on each side. You'll need uh, four nails on this side and then four nails on the other side. And then of course there's the opening. Whatever the dimensions are in the product information area. So that's what the rough opening would be here. Double hangers. You're going to need um, two by six, uh, two by eight double hangers, whatever they are. You can always use beams here. You don't have to use a doubler. If you wanted to use a four by eight, you could always do that and then have four by eights going across if you had four by eight ceiling joist. Another thing that uh, this is critical, uh, you know, thing that I think most people forget when they're doing something like this is the headroom here. So if you have a, you're going to put a stairway in and you want to be able to climb up into the stairway and walk around or do something, I would assume that's why you're putting a stairway up there um, for, for storage or something like that. Make sure that you've got enough headroom. And this might require you to move the opening more towards the center and then have the stairway coming down to the side. I know a lot of people take and they move the opening off to the side and then have the stairway coming down in this direction to where it sits on the garage floor. You would walk up the stairs like this and then you you don't have any headroom or it's a safety hazard because you got to crawl over a little bit. So keep that in mind. The location of the um, stair head out is going to be critical for headroom in the attic if that's going to be a problem.
here's an example if the ceiling joists are going to be 16 inches on center and if you remember we had the but the rafters are two foot on center and uh, if you have ceiling joists that are 16 inches on center and roof rafters that are 16 inches on center this idea might not work as easy but again the principal framing um, should be the same the double the doublers on the side and then uh, or I should say doublers all around the opening there so here I went ahead and moved it over and then we can put the doublers and nail them right next to each other hope that makes sense here we got the doubler doubler and then the cut ceiling joist this one here will need to be cut for the opening and of course this one will be a little shorter the one we cut double joist hangers a single joist hanger here and here we can see the ceiling joist that's the same as this one this is where we're going to use to start it and again this i'm just putting it the opening next to this ceiling joist to save some material if you move it over and you don't use the um, existing ceiling joist then it's just going to require one more board for your doubler A hanger here double hanger there's the opening the rough opening measurement if you needed 56 inches make sure that you cut the joist um, at least three inches shorter if you're going to be using a doubler or even three and a quarter inches sometimes it's going to be better to have the opening a little bigger I've actually cut openings like this before and uh, made them exact and uh, measured everything and then had them a quarter inch smaller and sometimes it's going to be a little better to have it a quarter inch larger you could always nail a scrap piece of plywood or something on it but when it's too small you're going to be cutting a whole new um, opening or cutting the joist again not going to be a good thing so another thing I want to point out I showed you that we move this one over here However, if you need to move it over to one side or the other because of some type of obstacle, plumbing pipes, fire sprinklers, electrical boxes, structural members, then you can. It does not need to go up against a ceiling joist um, or a rafter tie. You can move it over as long as you have the doublers and they are minimum bearing onto the sitting on the framing plates. So I hope that makes sense. And if it does, uh, and you enjoy watching this uh, video or videos like these, hit the old thumbs up button. Let me know these are more videos you want to see.